Hey everyone, uh, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today I'm back with another video we'll be doing a figure by Mega House it is the Portrait of Pirates Neo Soji King alright and um, this is the re-release version so as yes, you can see the box is definitely different from, <clears throat> from the one uh, from the original one and um, I got it off someone else the the thing, the figure itself is brand new, just that the box, uh, it's pretty beat up on the outside But everything inside is brand new, so it's fine by me And, um, of course I'm really really excited because, um, uh, this I got this figure about 2 months back, or 3 months, I'm not too sure And, uh, it was a figure that I wanted to get since the first version got released The first one which, uh, I think is at 2008 or 9, around, the, around those periods so it's been eight years and um finally got this figure. It's a bit like a, a little bit like a dream come true. Really, really amazing. Because I absolutely love uh Usopp and Soji King. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the box. Um as you can see the name of the figure, the line, a picture of Yusop, uh Soji King here. The window itself, the windows on this box is like a is like are like targets. Similar to how this target looked like over here. And I think it's really cool. It's quite thematic with Soji King. And over here I have the uh Golden Toy sticker, which is a Japanese version. Uh proves the authenticity. Let's take a look at the sights. Uh different angles, and you can see Soji King written out big here. More images of the, of the picture. This is the other side. Similarly as well. This is the back. More angles, more ways of displaying the figure. And the top is a target window as well. And you can see like images of the sky and sunset or whatever. I feel like it could be a little nod to where Soji King said he came from, like the island of snipers. So it gives a bit of an like, island feel. But I think it's really really cute. And this design is really definitely much better than the original one. Which is more simple, I guess, and if it, it just shows like uh, Soji King and Nico Robin together, so I'll definitely choose this one over the other one. Okay, so that's all for the box, and let's just go straight to the figure. So, uh, right off the bat, when you take you sort out, this is sort of what it looks like from the from the. You take it out from the box, and uh, he has his cape on, but I remove it for now. And I just want to say that this figure will be able to stand on its own like that without the cape. Because once you end on the cape uh, and even, he, even his caputo, his weight sort, sort of lean towards the back so it might fall. Actually it will fall. But without those accessories, uh, Usopp is able to stand just like that. Okay, so one thing to take note of. And... This is one way to display the figure. You can either put the caputo on him or you can let him hold his Soji King's mask, something like that. You could see there's a little space between his fingers on his right hand and you just sort of slide it in, something like that. So it's really a choice but I Personally, think that it's pretty lame. Um, I rather have the mask on him, but personal preference might be something you want to do. Okay, and um, just want to talk about the details first because once I put on the cape, you probably can't see much of it. His body. Uh, this is this was his clothing before the time skip, and for a early version of the figure, it's pretty amazing. Uh, the pockets here, the sash thingy, and the bandages as well though. They are really really detailed and <coughs> pretty well done. So I'm quite amazed. As well as on his feet. Okay, and I, I, can't, I don't know what you call this but um... Probably an arm, arm band. So it's quite good. The color contrast, it's uh, the shading, it's, it's there too, and it's really excellent for an earlier version of the POPs. 
One thing I'm company about is that LEPOPs usually they make their figures with their feet much more bigger. Yeah, if you look at the newer ones, usually their feet is more of a correct, it's more of the you know correct proper size. But earlier versions, their feet are huge, really, really huge. Okay, and um, and Usopp's head just come off like this. Really simple. You can't really rotate it, so it's just like a joint. And his details are really wonderful as well. You can even see this little knot at the back. Oh, the hair, the cap, the details on the goggles. These lines, you can actually feel them. It's, it's uh, carved into his ears, his eyes, his nose, his bandaged nose. Really well done. It's quite amazing. Uh, the bandage, left and right side of the face, his lips, really thick lips. Yep, so I'm really loving this. I think most of us will. Alright, so I'm gonna put um, the accessories on now for Usopp. Maybe let's take a quick look at the base first, shall we? Alright, so this is the base. It's transparent, of course, and you can see it says uh, Luffy Pirates and Soji King as well as the Strawberry Pirates are uh, Jolly Roger. The earlier versions, POPs, they always have the transparent base, so this doesn't come as a surprise. And they didn't really change it, if I'm not wrong. They stay true the, the, to the uh, original release figure version. And you can see like three packs where you're supposed to put a feet of Usopp on. Alright, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Put it on right now. And next, you have uh, Usopp's utility bag that comes along. Yeah, details wise, it's it's quite. There's nothing much to talk about. It's nice. It's well done. It's decent. Not a lot of shading or what. Nothing too amazing about it. And you could. There's actually a flat side, and this flat side is supposed to be in contact with Usopp's body. So it's just really easy to put on. This is Go on from uh, go up from the left arm, and just let it rest on his right shoulder. Something like that. Okay, simple. And next, of course, we have the the cape, which is crucial to the Soji King's persona. And the cape itself is well done as well. The creases. The force looks really amazing and I like like some figures where they have white capes to give the figure more volume, more authority and they did it for this figure which is really amazing. And of course lastly what I'm gonna put on is the is the weapon. The Kaputo. And of course, I'm I'm in love with this weapon as well. I think it's nicely designed. It's really amazing. You see some crosses here, and I don't know what you call this, but yeah, the bandages really well done. And it's really tall though. It's really long, which I guess stays true to the size. Look at that. Okay, so um, people, when when I tried to put this on, what I did is I tried to slide it through. And I realized that that's a bad idea because this bandage but part is really thick. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna smear the paint in, uh, within the inside of the of the hand. So what I'll suggest is that because this is the part by right where you're sort of supposed to hold. So you just kind of open up his fingers and slot it in. And this is honestly really tough as well. So I'm going to try to put it in now, hopefully without damaging the, the figure. Because you really have to open up the, the fingers to put it in. Something like that. Okay, and that's just how it's supposed to be. Alright. And next, you could choose to put Usopp with the original head itself, but for me, I prefer the Soji King's mask. And of course, the mask itself comes in two options. 
One is the brand new one which I showed you earlier, brand new mask, and one is the better one mask, um, better, better one mask. Sorry for that. Uh, with the cracks, broken left side, and uh, some stickers to keep it together, keep it from falling apart. And this, this is the one that I I choose personally, because I think it it gives a uh, more of a character to Soji King. And how do you put this on? Uh, you can see the back of the mask, you have these two packs going. So you have to remove the goggles on Usopp's head. And it just comes off really easily. Like two little parts. Alright. And you just really put the mask on like that. It just snaps on really nicely. Actually, it didn't really snap nicely when it's brand new. But now because uh, I keep it on for a while, it's much more easier. You might have to put in a bit of force at the start if you just got this figure. All right, just like that, and we put Soji King on. Soji King's head, and voila, there you have it. The amazing, wonderful Soji King. Oh yeah, and like this two, this two little goggles beat parts, right? They are really, really small. So do not lose them, really keep them in the box properly or somewhere else. Because if you're not careful, they'll be gone. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is a quick 360 of the figure for you to take a, a better view. And honestly, like I said, I'm a big fan of Usopp. And I really love um, you know, the Soji King arc. The Soji King part. I think it's really, really uh, funny and amazing. And this figure is excellent. It's definitely in one of my top few POPs. And you could tell, you know, from this side, like you could see how the weight of the figure is leaning towards the back. There's no way it can stand without the base, with all these accessories. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out, um, as usual, some of my other figures for you to have a little bit of height comparison and a little better taste of how you might want. You can choose to display them and just give me a moment over there. Okay, so let's just take a look at the height of um, Usopp first, or Soja King. And you know, to the top of the mask, which is about the same height as the capital over here, it's almost 9.5 inches, 24cm around there. So it's pretty tall, really, really tall. And um, okay, so I have um, okay. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna take out Gear for Luffy. Uh, but I'm gonna bring out other figures of the of Usopp that I own, which is mainly the Grand Line Children Usopp, as well as the very amazing Sailing Again Usopp, as well. Okay, so. I mean, I don't, I don't have the P.O.P. Uh, what's that? The, the child version of Usopp. So I make do with this Grand Line, Grand Line Kid version. And this is definitely one of the ways you can display your Usopp collection. If you do, uh, if you just happen to own them. Or of course as well, maybe you want to put um, Soji King with the rest of the crew from the the P.O.P. Neo series, uh, which I don't really own any one of them. Okay, and like, like I mentioned, you could tell, you know, like the earlier versions, the feet are really, really huge. Just look at this new one and the old one. Different sizes, and it's a tendency for the earlier figures. Uh, but I have no problems with that. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope to make more videos again soon. Thank you guys for all your support. If you if you enjoyed the video, please like it and of course subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, thanks uh, for all the new subscribers. Uh, really amazing to have a little following going on. And I just really hope my videos has been beneficial and interesting to you guys. So thank you all and see you again.